Welcome back to the Jack. We got Ashford Asylum, Gunslinger, Hell on Earth. Ah, I still want to talk about D and D. I still want to talk about D and D. But I think I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna go back to. Uh, we might do an old story of D and D. Talk about talk about something that happened to me and uh, as I was playing as a character. So. Uh, one of my one of my old characters in uh, in the campaign that I was playing in was uh, an eldritch knight, and uh, you, you highly strength based, right? And uh, I I always roll for gold when I make characters because I think that it's just a lot more fun to uh, roll for gold and like set up your own stuff. I think that that's just way 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 more fun than. Um, than, uh, than just taking the, the default stuff. I think that you get a lot more options and be able to customize your character a lot more. It's a lot more complicated and takes a lot longer, but to me, it's so much more fun. Um, okay. Where did they come from? Um, to me, it's it's a lot more fun, so uh, I always I always do that. And the character that I had didn't have enough money to get a longbow. I had... Uh, I had like a whole bunch of other stuff and uh, not enough money for a longbow. I wanted a longbow though because I wanted to have some kind of ranged weapon. I had a, uh, a whip, I had a trident, um, and I was like, uh, you know, Indiana Jonesy kind of nice person-y kind of thing, right? And uh, it, was all, it was all good. I got to use the, um, like having the weapons kind of come back to me. I was able to throw the trident and get it back. It was fun, but uh, I, wanted a, I wanted a bow. I wanted to have a ranged attack that was, that was a proper ranged attack, right? I want it to be like a, a kind of multi-purpose fighter type of uh, fighter type of deal, right? And uh, kind of like snipe stuff from afar. That was kind of my goal with the character. And it was going to be it was going to be like a, a really cool thing. Going to get some multi-classing in there. And then uh, we got a bow eventually. We got like this magical bow, right? Cuz I, I told my DM that I'm like, yeah, I really want a long bow. Like, I really, really want a longbow. I was still pretty new at the game at this point. Um, and I was like, yeah, I want a longbow, but I didn't have money for it, so that sucks. But uh, we were on, like, we were, like, stranded on an island. We had no equipment. We had no... None of that, right? So, uh... We had to, uh... Get... Whatchamacallit. Um... Like, our, our stuff ourselves. We had to, like, make it or find it on the island. Um, we couldn't just have uh, a longbow, right? So uh, he made a... Um, or no, not this character. It wasn't this character. It was a different character. So that character I hated, and I, uh, I ended up killing it off. And then my next character was a fighter, also strength-based, and was going to be like a sort of all-purpose mercenary thing. It was going to be fun, right? Yes, that's correct. That's correct. The Elder Knight I didn't like, I killed it off. Um, and then my next character I wanted a bow on. But I didn't have the money for it. So the way that my character died was we died to uh, to this like King Slayer bow thing, whatever. You you know you you say the name of the uh, the person and you get like a bunch of extra damage or something oh, like that. Um. So I gave my name to the uh, to the enemy when they asked because my DM told me to, <laughs> and uh, nobody else gave their name. So then I was immediately killed by the bow, and. We, uh, we met my new character, which was uh, Yana or Yara. I think it was Yana. I think it was, I think it was Yana. Yana or Yara. I can't remember. Yana or Yara. They're all, they're all the same thing to me. Uh, and she was a, a fighter with red hair. Her hair would kind of react to the... Um, to the... Uh, like, world around her. She was a... Uh, a phoenix sorcerer cross fighter and uh, she was gonna be just kind of being like a super badass and, and going around lots of role play kind of stuff in combat right it was gonna be it was gonna be a total blast but I didn't have enough for my longbow and I really wanted a longbow on this character because that that kind of helps towards the um, the like total badass good at everything kind of uh, uh, thing that I was trying to go for right um, so she ended up getting that longbow that was used to kill my old character, the other Kingslayer or whatever. 
And then when I started to use it, I'm like, wait, this uses dex. You have to use dex for all ranged attacks. Wait, I don't want this. <laughs> so I ended up giving it to somebody else. My uh, my group was like, you, you wanted a bow this whole time. All you've wanted is a bow. You finally get a long bow, and you're like, eh, I don't want it. Like, well, yeah, but I didn't know. That I thought I could use strength for for the uh, the long bow for because it was a heavy weapon. But you cannot use a you cannot use strength for the uh, for the longbow. It's always dex because it's a ranged attack. Always dex. So uh, I ended up giving it to somebody else who was able to use a bow, and we took out some pirates and then uh, reclaimed the ship. And then that was the end of the campaign because that DM couldn't continue playing anymore. It was a fun campaign. I liked it. But uh, yeah, it was it was it was a funny time because I finally got the longbow that I've been searching for for like at this point it was like weeks months even um, and then I finally get it and I'm just like it's like this super powerful magical bow and I'm like yeah that's exactly what I wanted that's way more than I was expecting and then I, I try to use it and I'm like oh wait <laughs> it's garbage <laughs> I can't use it because I had like negative decks or something so it was uh, completely not viable for me to actually use it but hey you know sometimes uh, sometimes you get garbage uh, it's fine. It's fine. That was a character that I really liked. I don't know. I've, I've said it before, but I really wish I could play D&D again. I haven't looked at Roll20 yet. I'm not sure I want to exactly. Because playing with friends is just so, so, so much more fun. And I guess you meet friends when you go on Roll20 and you, you might make friends and, you know, be all, you know, be besties with each other and everything's good, but... I don't know. Playing with people who are already friends is, is just a lot more fun. When you already have that dynamic and you already have... You already know each other and... You know that nobody's going to be weird about stuff and... It's just, it's a lot better for me. Personally. So. I, uh... I'm not sure I want to play with Roll20 and just go play with some randoms. Because I've had a lot of bad experiences playing with, uh... People I, I don't know. A lot of bad experiences. Um, so it's uh, it's it's scary at times, you know. It is scary at times. But I don't know. It would be fun to play D and D. I wish my dream would be uh the D and D group I'm in that I DM for. Like somebody else in there DMs like in the off sessions so like you know, we play once a month or whatever and then uh, we play their campaign once a month as well and that's my dream or like once yeah once a month so every two weeks we play uh, like one person's campaign and it like alternates back and forth between us that's my that's my dream come true so I would uh, I would love to be able to play with uh, with people that I know the people that I like but Nobody there wants to DM, or knows how to DM, or is confident enough to DM, even if they want to, or doesn't have the time to DM, and I'm like, these are all reasonable excuses, I can't, I can't blame you for it, but I wish I could, I wish I could play, and they, 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 they've offered to do, like, one-shots at times, but, and I, I, uh, I would definitely take them up on that if it ever happened, right, like, happily, I'll play in a one-shot, sure, um, but... I've never had the. Uh, I I really want to play in a campaign again. It's uh, I'm having I'm having withdrawals, you know. <laughs> I need uh, I need I need my campaign. I need to play my campaign. But you can't you can't do that without a group. You need like you need to organize like four or five people to be able to play D and D. You can't you can't just go do it. You know, it's not like KF2 where I can just load it up and off I go to the races. Right, I'm I'm playing KF2. I have to plan it around four other people's schedules or four people total I wouldn't necessarily want to join a group with just three people you know a party of two isn't really that great um, you really want three um, it makes it better for the DM because they're able to balance the encounters a little bit better which is uh, important because the DM also has to have fun or it's it's kind of just really bad uh, and then uh, it's it's better for the players as well because they get to have more like interactions and 
conflict in the end of the party. And conflict in the party is always good. Well, done responsibly anyway. Done irresponsibly, conflict of any sort is, is particularly bad. But, uh, you know, I'm not I'm not a bad person. I'm not, I'm not going to try and assault people in my party. I'm not going to try and, you know, make things awkward, so. Having that conflict, you know, it's not even like big conflict. Like, you know, arguments or like uh, hatred of each other or whatever, but just, um... You know, if, you, if you're trying to solve a puzzle or whatever, having more people talking about it and, and uh, saying that their idea is the way that we should go, or, you know, if you're trying to decide which play, like, which town you're going to go to, having more people, you know, kind of fighting over which town you want to go to is, is, is good. It's, uh, it, it gives you that, uh, that variety and that, uh, just having another voice in there is, is, is a good thing. So... You wanna you wanna have at least three players in the party, and then the other one DM. Minimum, in my opinion, and then a maximum of like five, personally, in the in the party. We're going down this way. That's just uh, that's that's the best way to uh, be successful in a uh, in a D and D group, in my opinion. To have three to five players. Man, I'm just like, look, I'm really tired because I played D&D &D today, so that's that's what my excuse is. I'm going to go upload these and then probably go take a nap, <laughs> but I have to get them uploaded because I have to have them recorded by 8 today, so, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, like, and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.